Hey everybody, Jeff Drews, BIM Technology Management here again. Um, wanted to kind of go through some better ways to organize your project in your project browser. Let's get rid of this. Uh, real quick, um, so we're gonna go to the Manage tab and we're gonna go to Project Parameters. Um, and I, I'm gonna just remove all these. Kind of show you how this works from scratch. So we can hit add and we're gonna go in here and we can we can type in any name we want. Um, so I'm gonna put in sub discipline. I'm gonna make sure that's a text parameter. And over here we're gonna look at uh, views. And I'm gonna hit okay. And it's just asking if we want to uh, put a default value in there. I'm going to leave them blank. And then I'm going to add a second parameter. Um, and I'm going to call that... I'm going to call it a view discipline. And I'm going to do the same thing with text and view. Okay, so in this view, you can see, I'm gonna scroll down here, there's these two parameters that uh, exist now. So there's nothing in here in our drop downs. Um, so what we can do is we can type in some better ways of organizing what type of view this is. So right now I have it set up as a working floor plan. Um, so we could put like the view discipline being general and the sub discipline would be working and right now that doesn't do anything in our project browser so we have to right click on it and go to browser organization and we're going to create a, a new one we're going to call it better organized you can call it whatever you want and then in here we're going to go to grouping and sorting and we're going to group by um, which one did I have first? View discipline and then sub discipline. I'm going to hit and then type. I'm going to hit apply and okay. And then I realized that I forgot to change it. So I'm gonna go back in here and change this to better organized. All right, so now you're gonna see a whole bunch of question marks. And you're gonna see the general and the working that we put together. Um, so that's really cool. So what we can do with that is this view that we created here uh, with these, these parameters filled out, we can actually we can create view templates and we can assign it to that and then add view types. So I can right click on my view here and I can create a view template from view and just have this like general working. And then it'll just come in and it'll ask you all kinds of like, what do you want to do with this view template? So we can uncheck the scale if we don't really care um, but I'm going to leave everything as is for now. You can dive into that a little bit more. And then the next step we can do here is we can go to view, um, and then plan views and floor plans. It's over here. Um, and then I pre-created some of these. So if you go to working floor and you can hit edit type there, what we can do with this is we can already assign a view template to a certain view type and then there's a checkbox here with whether we want that view template to remain on or just apply those uh, properties when we first create it so uh, I'm gonna switch this to the one that we just created the general working 
and then I'm going to create another view off the of first floor and you're going to see it just popped it into the right spot so we can do that on a mass scale you can have production views you can have um, tracking views you can have all kinds of different things that automatically go in the right spot we can do that with our section cuts as well so this one has design section right now uh, if I go in the view discipline and put uh, for this one I'm gonna put production and then this would be something like that and then that puts it in the right spot here so it's a good way to to organize your views that are production views versus working views this is put them all in the right spot do it all automatically let's work smarter guys <laughs> all right uh, if you guys have any questions you know how to get a hold of me uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks everybody bye